Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Deck and today I'll be doing a beautiful lace wig install featuring Kalai hair. So this one here is a beautiful jerry curly texture. The color is like a beautiful reddish brown and we're doing a closure wig install so you know it's bust down center part for me. The beauty in this one and what's special about her is that she has pre cut lace which we love a good pre-cut lace it's all the trend these days and I really do love this for you guys especially those of us who are beginner or intermediate and we still have a little bit of trouble or we're a little bit nervous when it comes to cutting off the excess lace so you see in the beginning of the video which is in the next clip how the wig comes naturally and it comes with the lace already cut off so i hope you guys are going to enjoy this one it's a super simple easy beginner friendly install we're going to go in and add a little baby hair to the front also we're going to make her nice and big for this one i just wanted to give like nice and full and big and i think i did a great job on the execution so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the video okay ladies i'm ready to slay i'm in a great mood this is the wig straight out of the box the star of the show is this beauty here and she is a 22 inch pre-cut lace reddish brown jerry curly lace wig she does have a breathable cap and she does come with an adjustable elastic band the elastic band is also detachable which is awesome and again she's pre-cut lace so literally a closure wig that fits glueless and then the lace is already cut off Literally put her on, make her match her complexion, and you are good to go. So let's go ahead and put her on. You guys already know my quick one too is to put the adjustable strap on first and then put the actual wig on next. This is what she looks like on. Absolutely gorgeous and a winner. You guys can see really close up how flat and flush the lace fits. So once you go ahead and style her to your liking, you really don't have to bond her down on. Here is a good close up of the texture of the hair. As I mentioned, this is a jerry curly texture and this is what she looks like from the back. Of course, she's 22 inches in length, but of course also shrinkage is hashtag real because it definitely looks a lot shorter with it being um curly but you know that's just the name of the game here is a look at the center part straightened out as well as a close-up of the hairline i'm gonna go ahead and bond her down just for a more melted look but again you have options and you guys already know i go by the sticky method so i love the even adhesive i've been using the red can for a few months and i ran out completely a few videos ago so you guys seen i did order a fresh bottle on amazon and it came to me in about two days so i went back to the yellow i think i'm gonna get the purple one and the i think there's a silver and a gold and a black i'm gonna get all of them this week so we can just kind of like compare and see which one we like the most this is what the hairline looks like when you pull a little bit of baby hair forward i kind of went in and zigzagged it and kind of made it a little bit more um imperfect so it just doesn't be like straight across baby hair and then i went ahead and tweezed it down some because i really don't want thick baby hair i just want something in there or in the front to kind of give me a little bit of fun and once i got it to my desired thickness i went ahead and added another coat of that adhesive just to go ahead and allow it to melt and of course i was flicking it up for the gram i'm always in stories but i am trying to Give this energy to TikTok because I feel like I can do better on TikTok. I also did something different by using a fan opposed to a blow dryer and I really like the outcome. Um, I'll have the one I have in the description box. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use a pencil flat iron to just curl the hair towards my face. This is going to help the baby hair to really, really, really um, look good and give more of a wispy uh, finish to it. And I always, always use this when I want a wispy baby hair. This also will be in the description box and you can get this on Amazon Prime. Also keep in mind, you can curl the hair away from your face or towards or like under. I went under. Now I'm going to just go ahead and cut that baby hair super short. I'm going to do the two swoops at the end and like really, really short baby hair in the center. So let's go ahead and do that step together. I'm using the edge control from bdeckbeauty.com, which is my brand. 
I'll have it in the description box and I just work outwards in. So I did do the sloops on the outsides first and then I went ahead and decided to tweeze out the center a little bit more and also thin it out because I really didn't want it to be thick and defined. I just kind of wanted it there in the middle to kind of like make the two swoop sides meet if that makes any sense. And I did like kind of like push any hair that I didn't want back and I really liked the way it came out. Now I'm going to go ahead and put all the hair up on top of my head so we can work on making sure the hairline and the parting look melted. Just because you have baby hair does not make it look melted. So I did go ahead and tweeze that out a little bit more. And then I did the dynamic duo pairing the wax stick with the electric hot comb and really just like flat ironing that hairline. Now we're going to go ahead and let that melt with the melt belt on top. And we're going to repeat that dynamic duo steps in the center. You can kind of see the hair in the center already was kind of like a little bit on the straight side. I really didn't have to like flatten it out. But you guys know I'm going to do it anyways. And then I started pulling the hair apart. I really didn't want a jerry curly like wet look. I really wanted it to be like dry and full. This is a great option for like the colder days. This looks really good and really natural. And honestly I prefer this again. When it's cold like when you get dressed early in the morning or if it's raining out and you're wearing curly hair I would rather it be more so like this than to be like wet if that makes any sense so I really really loved the way this looks and so I kind of wanted to just stop here and then I added my lace tint which is the Fenty concealer in the parting um I am gonna go ahead and pick this concealer up it may be like two shades darker so that we can see if that just looks a little bit more um complimentary I like the way this looks personally but I can see how some people want it a lot more toned down and then I went in with the Ruby Kisses foundation buffed into the hairline. And this is a perfect match for my complexion when I have on makeup and even when I don't. Now, again, I felt like I was done with the look, but I wanted to give you guys the real finished result. So I just dampened the hair lightly and added some mousse and kind of just worked that in to give you more of a finished look. Be sure to check out the description box for a direct link to this wig. You'll also find a coupon code to save some money. This is what it looks like when you add a little bit of mousse. And again, if you want it like super defined, like vacation summer hair, go ahead and use that dimming brush. Get it a lot more wet and saturated. Work it in and it's going to be absolutely beautiful, especially for the hotter days and months. Okay, ladies. So we are done with the look. Love it. Love it for me. Now, I'm not going to be lying. I wanted to keep it like big and voluminous. And you guys seen in the last clip how perfect and gorgeous it was but i did want to add a little bit of product because sometimes product can help a, um how do you say it product can help like define the curls and make it even better and right now it's in that state where like i didn't want to overly saturate the hair and make it like completely drenched um which would have like ultimately defined the curls the most i still wanted it big so i just added a little bit of product so again we can bring back some of the definition you see how beautiful that is but today but but this one did come from Kali E Hair. And you guys know I love this company. We work together all the time. So as usual, in my box or my package, there was this beautiful robe. And of course, it says Kali E Hair right here as well as on the back. I'm not going to open it up because I'm going to save it for one of you lucky ladies. And then also, this is the box that the wig was in. This one is a Brazilian origin or Brazilian hair. Um, and it is 22 inches in length. Inside your box, you do get a dust bag and the dust bag is the same um, color as like the box as well as the robe so it's really cute like when you're traveling you're in your little hotel and you have like your dust bag that has your wig in it and then you also have your robe that matches I love a good matching moment and then you also get a pack of your wig caps and you guys know this one has been currently my favorite because it's nice and thin and breathable they're not thick like the old school or traditional ones you get another pack of wig caps you get a melt belt you get some really nice full lashes and then you also get your kabuki brush and yeah so i don't have much to say about this one because it came absolutely gorgeous already again i want to get it nice and big so i'm gonna oh it's already getting back bigger but i love it for me i love a good color switch up because you can't do natural brown every day or you can but i don't like to do like natural brown every day indefinitely but the highlight of oh look how this looks like to twist it back just take the front and kind of like twist it 
how cute would that be i don't think all the way back but like right here and then put some cute pins i think that looks super cute you can definitely do a couple of styles with this one even though it's a closure wig so as far as like the hairline and like the cap construction i love the fact that this one is a breathable cap it does have the elastic band in there that is adjustable also i love the fact even more that this one had a pre-cut lace that makes it so much easier to install and you never really know how much time or how much easier more convenient it is to have it already cut now they did want me to share with you guys that they are in the process of modifying this wig so the upgraded version of this one will be the exact same wig except like you guys seen how with the pre-cut lace it was straight across they're gonna add that like rigid or curved cut to it so that it's like perfectly like camouflage i didn't have a problem with this one being um like too blunt it came out perfect in my opinion but it's gonna have that nice ridge in it so that it's a little bit more seamless because you guys know when you cut your lace you're supposed to cut like in a zigzag so they're going to do that for you that's a new addition that's coming soon also they're going to extend the parting um more back so those are just two different modifications that they listen to you guys and they know that's what you really like so those are some modifications they're going to be doing the color is beautiful the jerry curly texture is amazing and again this was just a super easy install i hope you guys enjoyed this one be sure to check out this one in the description box also you'll find list and links of everything we used to complete this look thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches